last minute developments. SJ, Mueller may not be testifying alone. What can you tell us? Veronica, as lawmakers were holding mock hearings, negotiations between the special counsel and the Judiciary Committee have been ongoing, with the special counsel making an 11th hour request. There has been a lot of preparation. Last minute mock hearings and strategy sessions are underway ahead of former special counsel Robert Mueller's testimony. The House Judiciary Committee plans to focus on obstruction of justice, while the Intelligence Committee will follow with questions on Russian election interference. Congresswoman Val Demings is one of only a few who's a member of both. It really does have to be a very coordinated effort where we make every minute that we have with Director Mueller count. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi sending out this six page memo to help keep Democrats on the same page. Now members are grappling with a last minute request from Mueller to have his top deputy services counsel during the testimony. The move could further inflame tensions between the Justice Department and House Democrats after the DOJ instructed Mueller to limit the scope of his testimony. Democrats plan to focus their questions on the five areas of obstruction of justice. while. Republicans intend to highlight bias on the Mueller team and the origins of the investigation. It won't reshape my dynamic. I've heard all I need to hear from Mueller. I've read his report. I accept the findings. I don't think it's going to change public opinion. But others disagree. Most of the American people have not read it. It's 440 pages. It's a huge report. What's going to happen tomorrow is that Robert Mueller is going to be saying the words of the report live on national television. A point Demings believes has the power to move the needle with the American people. You may not uh, read the book, but you'll certainly watch the movie. The big question, of course, is what is going to come out of all of this? Will Democrats put forward with impeachment or will they heed the advice of the House Speaker that has argued that they should continue with their investigations and they should also pass laws that would prevent future foreign interference? We'll have a lot.